Hi, here's a model of a strip of a brittle material, let's say glass, uh, being vibrated at one end. The parts are, are here, the, the glass is the alternating yellow and blue parts which represent uh, flat springs that will fracture if, they're, if the radius of curvature is too small and, uh, and, and rigid bodies, so it's kind of a finite element model uh, down the line. The uh, arrows at the ends are mechanical anchors. The right-hand one will move, and the left-hand one will remain stationary. So we stress. The right-hand one will move up and down. We stress the strip by uh, vibrating it vertically like this. And of course, when we vibrate it in time with any of its harmonics, we'll see that. The excursions will become large. And if the curvature becomes too sharp, the thing will shatter. I've set it up so that it shatters during the second harmonic. It depends on the properties you set. Here we are between harmonics and the excursion is, is not too great, so your structure is not in that much danger. This is the second harmonic you can see shaping up. And this will be too much for it. There's no gravity here, the part is swinging horizontally. Let me show a plot. I set up a plot of one of these middle uh, torsion spring elements, so uh, one of the, the elements that, that gives it a, a bend resistance. And I plotted the torques. So this shows basically how much that string is being stressed and how much it's pushing back over time. So here's 0, 20 seconds, 40 seconds. This is clearly the first harmonic. We start to see big excursions and then things settle down a bit between harmonics. When we hit the second harmonic, eventually the uh, bend radius of the strip becomes too small and we finally get a fracture. After the fracture, all we're seeing is the wiggling of, of parts that, have, that are no longer linked into one continuous strip. All right, thanks for watching.